Turn on the light. As the Apostle Paul calls us, and in Philippians 2.15, he says, Let your light shine brightly before the dark and crooked world. Don't mollycoddle and, uh, and, and love is the crooked world. Shine your light in truth and what is right and wrong. I want to remind you, if you ever have the time to walk out at night and look at the sky and the stars, I want to remind you of three chapters. Go and read them. Four. First Psalm 33 that says God breathed out the stars. Wow. Wow. Can you imagine? Our star is one of the smallest stars in the Milky Way. Can you imagine God's power if he breathed out the stars? Psalm 40 and Psalm 147, go and read, will take you a minute or two, says that God has given each star a name. So look at, uh, up at the vastness of the heavens and there's millions and millions of stars and know that each one God called by name as he calls each of his children by name. And then Deuteronomy 4 says the stars were made for our benefit. Walk out tonight, look at the vastness of the heavens and remember those stars were created by the Almighty who calls them individual names like he calls you and me, his true children individual names. And he's made the stars, the beauty of nature for us as well. If that leaves you awed, live in dedication and stop your excuses. Live to his glory. Keep your eyes fixed on heaven.